Hey, hi, we're the Door County Sled Dogs, and we're going to show you how to make your own dog lines today with just a few simple materials, some hollow core uh, rope and a fid and some uh, brass uh, clips if you'd like. And you can use these lines for uh, any dog-powered sport or for a leash or for necklines or if you want to make a splitter to put between your two dogs and have them on one leash. The nice thing is, is that they're custom, they're cheap, they're fun, um, and Musher Rick here is going to show you how to do this in a few simple, easy steps, and we're going to watch Musher Christine do it for her first time ever. All right. Okay, and as Musher Bonnie said, you do need a good quality rope. Should be hollow core. That means the center is empty, and you should order that from a good uh, retailer that has a, a good quality rope that you can use. That like Adnex sleds and equipment, they um, will help you to figure out what size rope you need for the type of activity that you're talking about. And the next thing you'll need is a fit, and the fits come in different sizes, and those sizes you use according to the type or size of rope you have. In this case, we have a three-quarter inch rope which is going to be using this larger fit. So Christine, let's first of all, let's fix that frayed end. It's a little frayed and we want to get it just uh, oh tightened up a little so that uh, it doesn't come apart and so that it fits in the fit comfortably. And now what she's going to do is she's going to take this fit and she is going to create a loop. All right, Mr. Rick, I've never done this before. You think I can do it? Absolutely. Okay. I have my, I, I go through one time, correct? That's right. All right, that's all I know. So she has, by coming through the first time, she's created a loop. But now we need to make sure that this loop is strong and does not come apart when the dogs are pulling on it. So the next thing she's going to do is she's going to come back through a second time. Let's move it down just a little. Give yourself a little bit of room here. Okay. She's bringing the fit through, and then she's going to feed the rope back into the fit. There she goes. And she's going to bring it through. There you go. That's a nice start. Perfect. Now this is nice and tight, but you know it still could pull out. You can see there's still some flexibility here. So now she's going to make a lock. And by locking it, what she's going to do is take it and bring the rope back through both pieces. It's locking it upon itself. It's a very tight fit. And this, notice how she puts the fit through and then she puts the rope in, which just makes it easier to... Uh, well, you don't waste so much rope doing that. that. That's really the issue there. Okay, and as she brings this through and brings the line through, now you have a lock on this line. It will not come loose. Your dogs cannot pull this loose. But you have this loose end, and so let's make it pretty. Can you do that for me? Because Christine's all about pretty. I'm all about pretty. <laughs> oh, this is why you want the hollow cord. Yeah. And you can see she's feeding that through the center of the line. And as it's come through, now she's going to push it out, out of the, the rope. And then she'll feed the line back into the fit. And we're actually going to hide this loose end inside of the rope. Which, believe it or not, helps to strengthen the knot as well. Very good. So it all becomes just one solid piece. Yeah. Dogs pull, it tightens as they pull. Absolutely. And look what we have there, huh? Wow, look at what I can do. Oh, hey, uh, Musha Christine, show us how, if you want to put a clasp on there, what would you do? Again, you're going to want to order these from Adnac because they're good brass uh, clasps. And if you're using these outside, um, in the cold particularly, they'll freeze if you don't have a good quality class. You do not want to buy your brass class from your local hardware store or a Home Depot because we've had those snap on us so often. Um, or if it's in the cold, you don't want to buy your rope uh, at the hardware store. You want to get good quality materials and save the money by doing it yourself. There we go. So now See. you're ready for a walk with your dog. Excellent. Yahoo. Very, 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 very nice. Let's see. Very nice. Excellent. Hey, thank you, Musher Christine. Now all I need is a dog. <laughs> <laughs>